Let's take a nice, long, cleansing, deep breath. And let your body relax. Let your body relax. We're going to consciously let go of tensions held in the body, sending the message to every part of our body. Relax and let go. Relax and let go. Becoming aware of your feet, your calves, your thighs. And send the message, relax, relax. Let your abdomen and stomach relax. Become aware of your hands. Are your hands open, relaxed, or are they sort of tense and tight? Just let your fingers, your hands relax, giving the message to your mind and to your body. I am open and receptive to the spirit Expressing in and through and as me. Becoming aware of your shoulders, your arms. Sending the thought, relax, relax. Relaxing your chest, relaxing your back. Becoming aware of your neck, relaxing the front, the back, the sides. Relaxing the muscles in your jaw, your cheeks, your eyes, your forehead, your nose, your ears, your lips, your tongue. From the top of your head to the bottoms of your feet, letting go, letting go, letting go, letting go. And as your mind, your body relaxes, your mind becomes calmer, quieter more receptive to experiencing your true nature, your true self. You are a spiritual being. Having a human experience, you are consciousness. You are awareness. Living in a body that has thoughts, that has emotions, that has a body. But you, you are the one that's in there. Consciousness, spirit, living itself, being you. You might know that as the I am. I am. I am. I exist. I am consciousness. And the great saints and sages have reminded us that as an expression of spirit, you are an expression of love. That's what spirit is. That's what God is, is love. It's been distorted through misunderstanding. People have characterized God as a presence to be afraid of, like a stern parent. But that's not how Jesus spoke about God. He told the parable of the prodigal son who left his father, spent his inheritance, ended up broke, came back home, and there was the father greeting him with open arms. Well, that was symbolic for spirit, for God. The father, the mother, the divine mother, welcoming the son home because the son was always loved. The daughter's always loved. Because that's the nature of spirit, sacred love. Love can only love.
As Shakespeare said, love never alters when alteration it finds. Love is like gravity. Spirit's love is like gravity. It just is. It's present, expressing in and as you. Sometimes we don't feel very loving. We might be upset about something, worried, or whatever it might be. That doesn't change the truth that you are created in the image of love. Just because you don't feel it. Certainly there are times when you have felt tremendous love within yourself. The saints and sages tell us that's who you really are. The image and likeness of God who is love. Sacred love. But we've got to stir that love up. St. Paul, stir up the gift of love that is within you. So let's stir it up together. I invite you to stir up that gift of love by bringing to mind someone who you have loved. Maybe they're in your life today. Maybe they're in your life. Maybe they've left the earth. But they were really loving and you, you loved them and they loved you. Could have been a mother. Could have been a father. Could have been a friend. Could have been a pet. Could have been a grandparent. Uh, aunt, uncle. Doesn't matter. Sacred love is beyond human form. It comes through various forms, expresses through various forms. So I invite you to just bring to mind that being who you loved and who loved you or who loves you now and just allow love to fill your heart as you remember that, that shared experience of love. And allow the warmth of that love to course through you, through your body, your being. Imagine that love just filling you with light, filling you with to the brim. And whoever that being is, that you feel that love and that connection. Let us through faith know that that being still exists, is with you now as you think about them. And another dimension, but still present, just like the sacred love that's everywhere present in all and through all. And send your love and your light to that, that being. Send your gratitude. And embrace them with light. The light of love emanating from your own heart. And send that love and light to all those loved ones who have moved on to the other side of life. And send that love to those who are in your life right now on the earth. There's no limitation on this love. It's, it's infinite. It flows from the great heart of Divine Mother. The great heart of Spirit. The source of all love. So there's plenty to go around. And you let that love shine and flow to your friends and family and loved ones. 
And I'd like you to just take a moment now in the stillness, in the quiet, to just let yourself feel that love flowing through you in the quiet now, in the stillness. And one of the beautiful sounds is the sound of OM. We know it in the English language with O-M, OM. It's also the same as Amen. It's the same principle. The creative sound of spirit that's continually speaking the universe into expression. It's the, in the beginning was the word, and the word was God. The sound of Om is the creative vibration of the universe. The source of all of what scientists know as physics, the source underneath what we even know, out of which it all flows. Consciousness, the one consciousness. And so I'd like us to be a blessing now to all mothers everywhere, all people everywhere, friends and family, the planet Earth itself, the animals, all creation. What we're going to do is we're going to magnetize our hands and we're going to let this energy flow through us as we chant the sound of Om three times together. So rubbing the palms together and now raising your palms upward and let's just now chant three times that wonderful sound of Om and feel the energy flowing through your hands. Oh. Hear the sounds around us, feel the ground beneath us, moving hands, moving fingers, moving our toes, letting ourselves adjust to the lighting in the room. Thank you for meditating with me. Remember to subscribe to my channel for more meditations as they go live. Click above for a list of previous meditations so that you can meditate with me on your own time, anytime.